right, we ready now. Ooh. That just sounds like a long time. It yeah. felt forever. I don't think Ron know how to count. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the program. Ron, Ron had to go to Don Bosco. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, hey, listen. He thought I forgot. Hey, <laughs> I was on the basketball team, though, nigga. I was one of the cool niggas. Hey, they be. <laughs> I rep Don Bosco. Don, Don, this nigga Don was at the gang reffing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> reffing the games. He ain't playing that shit. His team against team at Don. <laughs> Ain't no outside yeah, games. Don is nah. everywhere. <laughs> Don played halftime. I'm not fucking around with that. I'm not <laughs> fucking around with that. Hey, they come, bro. He come rolling through. Walk, man, walk, walk, man, walk, shorty, brody. On route. Everybody looking around like, what? Oh, what the fuck is this nigga singing? That this said, nigga came out of nowhere. That fool said, I do the halftime game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they said, we need to get some entertainment. I am entertainment. Hey, the band, the band playing. <laughs> <laughs> Here he come. What? God damn it. God damn it. Somebody get died. Somebody get died ass out the fuck out the gym. Get died ass out the gym. Die play the piano with a Newport in this mouth. <laughs> you see the name outside. You, hey, you see the name. Hey, every time he's tough, that Newport get a little loose. He's like, huh? <laughs> Yo, Don is crazy, bro. Hey, welcome Shout back to, to another Don. show of Urban Absurdity. Uh, yes. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Hello. Shit. How are you guys? Y'all we, know our names. We hope everyone is doing well. Yeah. Put it at the bottom, Robert, like you usually do. If not. Yeah, put our names down. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. Right down there. I yeah. didn't see my name last episode. I always, <laughs> always kind of like. I my name. I always kind of like when the people on TV, they always be like, or on YouTube, they always be like, in the description is right here or right here or right here. Yeah. I'd be like, damn, that's cold. Yeah, how they. Yeah, because like they pre-thought about that shit. Like, oh, it's going to be right here. And you're like, oh, so when I start to edit it, it, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to do it. Go, go ahead and do that. Let's see how bad, how, right, bad, cool. how good Robert okay, is. Okay, cool. Go ahead. You can follow me right here <laughs> or right here. <laughs> or right here. And if you have any questions, just click the link below. Oh. <laughs> wow. That oh, was actually oh, decent. That was cool. That was cool. I'm like, I did. I'm excited that's, to see how this going to yeah, turn. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Robert dropped the ball see. on this one. He really looked at the footage. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't look at the footage. All right, this nigga just clicking buttons. <laughs> he was talking, click. He was talk. She was talking, click. He was talking, hey, click. Listen. Nah, nigga. You better listen to this shit and square me out, Robert. Hey, yeah. listen. <laughs> Cortez gonna be like right here. That bug gonna be over. Yeah. <laughs> or right there. No, we have faith in, in Robert. Nah, Robert yeah, already man. do we stuff have like faith. that. Yeah, we yeah. already we already yeah. look. You know, we legit. You, you right. Everybody. Yeah, he's the best podcast yeah. producer in the yeah. in the game, man. Right, yeah, man. Y'all gotta holler. At I don't know no other ones, but he's see the best. Yep. I'm why, telling. Why? <laughs> yeah, I don't know no. And <laughs> and rare position. <laughs> yeah, you know and, what I mean. But he in there. I don't know about y'all producers. <laughs> But ours goes the extra mile. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He does. What are we talking about today? What's going to be our... Man, you know, I got a lot agenda? of stuff I want to talk about, but oh. I know y'all not up on game. Oh. Okay, put That's us up. This is what I don't like about Put us up on game. never up on game. Hey. We not? Nah. What? what, what? We don't know y'all what... Y'all watch the finale today? See, this is what I'm talking about. Wait y'all a minute. Not up Who, on though? You ain't, you you ain't talking about... Are you talking about Raising Cane? Yeah. Okay, I ain't watched it yet. I, I ain't watched it yet. At least I knew what you was yep, talking about. Yep, I didn't. Yep. I, yeah, Ron, I haven't don't know watched it. At least I knew what you were talking about. Man, you I know all the other episodes. You, oh, you watch all the other episodes? He's still been yeah. watching. He's still no been shit. trying to finish Manifest. Can't even fucking up all. Yeah, the whole season. Man, oh, so you, th- you think this season. Well, right, right, right quick so everybody know what we're talking about. We're talking about Power. <laughs> power Book 3. Raising Cane is a Power Book 2, Raising Cane. Okay, One of, it's Raising three. Cane. It's 3. All right. Power Book 3. Raising Canaan, right? Mm-hmm. It's, this is the season finale came out today. Now they moving on to BMM. And you already watched it? I okay. watched it this morning. I watched it this morning. It was legit. Like the, the last two episodes, the first episode, probably the last two episodes of the Ross episodes. Yeah. Like everything in between is kind of like. Because he's been getting, fucking up worse. Yeah. He just, yeah. <laughs> it's like everything in between, it's just been like, ain't nobody fucking raising Canaan. Okay. Nobody's raising Canaan. So let me ask you, and I haven't seen it. All right. From the first eight or nine episodes. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about the wrap up? Don't tell me. But did it, no, 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 no. Did it come through it's good? A, it's a legit wrap up. And it, 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 it left you. It left you to want to watch season two, like want to watch it. Not not even on some petty shit where it's like, ah, oh, we gotta watch this shit because we gotta mm-hmm. figure out. Now nah, it was like, damn, like, I'm, nigga, this is the end. Yeah, like, damn, I want to see what season two is about. It so, better yeah. be a good wrap up. But I'm gonna tell you something real quick. Man, sorry to cut you off. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna tell you something real quick. My little bro got shot up. We're in the house when spoiler it, alert. Oh, yeah, this spoiler is, alert. Oh, I thought this was real. I, I thought the nigga was dead. 
That nigga said, who? Oh, yeah, I thought yeah, the nigga was yeah, dead, yeah. so if they yeah. do one of them, because that was kind of lame. It was like, don't make him look dead. Dude out there crying and shit, he's on the goddamn ground. I was like, man, I don't like shit like that. Yeah, you know what, though? You know how- That the, was kind of- how they did how they did it was it wasn't on no bullshit. It wasn't like how the rock got out the hospital and this nigga was just a regular person no more. It was like mm-hmm. he still had like excuse me. Not no spoiler alert, just this part, he he's still doing hella bad. That's all. Mm-hmm. So he's so he not doing good. I just, I just have a question not about the actual episode. Mm-hmm. So Power Book Two, right? Mm-hmm. When that came out. Mm-hmm. Was there supposed to be a season two of that? Mm-hmm. It's coming out now. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so they're going like, to bounce like back like, and forth. Yeah, sometime in October or November. The other okay, okay. Out. I get what he's doing. I didn't I really like, like two, though. That's what I was going to ask you. Two versus, since you know this one, two versus uh, three. What are you thinking so far? Man, even though I think that some of the writing on Kane is kind of weird sometimes, you yeah, know what I mean? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm going to go with that one. Two was like. It was seemed but, rushed but, or something. Yeah. But why was it, seemed, it? It didn't seem like it didn't seem well put together. It seemed yeah. like the writers. But why? Why didn't it? What was? What was the off characters about it? didn't really mess. Nah. Like in didn't. my mind, the characters were weird. It was like I see you want to do suburban college, but some of these yeah. people was like, yeah, I don't know. I just look at some it's like the way they feel and yeah. talk is like they seem like a play like, or something. Yeah. Man. Hell no. Nah. It was it Canon was, is organic. It's like it feel gritty. Yep. You know what so, I mean? But yep. do you but do you like yep. it for that reason? Because you have to think about this, okay? You have to think about this. I seen part of book two, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I get what you're saying. But mm-hmm. at the same time, people who are in, in that situation, right? Because we know there are some young white kids who are actually into I mean they get caught. Of yeah. course. Who are of like course. rich, they actually get caught selling dope and doing all kind of yeah. shit like that. Mm-hmm. So would that be for someone who understands that? Would that be good for them? And the gritty part would be good for people who are used to like just this is what I'm used to. You know okay. what I mean? Because you have to think uh, when it comes to a story about different characters. If you do not, if you don't understand it or come from from that, you may not get it as much, right? Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like. Orange is the New Black when they would introduce the characters and how they got caught up and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. And some of them you would be like, oh, shit, this shit's good. Mm-hmm. And some of them you'd be like, oh, it was okay. Right. But mm-hmm. for somebody who would understand where their character is coming from more, they would be like, that shit's dope, right? Yeah. yeah. And I would, would be like, uh, whatever. And the, what I like, a person would be like, no, nah, I didn't get that shit. Yeah. So I think that's what the part is what makes it good when you tell character stories mm-hmm. because everybody's not going to be the same. You know, some people's going to be different. And I also think 50 knew that. Like, mm-hmm. okay, this this is what I want to introduce right now, this shit. Yeah. But then I'm going to go to some gritty, back to some gritty shit because obviously Raising Canaan is grittier than Power Period. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, so, like, I agree with you, but I disagree with you, right? Okay. Because you every, cause everybody's going to like, you know, something, right? So yeah. even even if it's some petty ass shit, people, he's going to be a group of people that like it, that yeah. can put themselves in it, right? But overall, like, if you're a Power fan, yeah. you're not really looking for it to take a, like that Power Book 2, you weren't looking for it to take a back seat to, to, to this. Like they really made it for teenagers, but yeah. you shouldn't yeah. be you really shouldn't be showing teenagers that they selling drugs at school. Like, but, but, like, but but listen, like, but then again, stupid. but then again, why not? Because one, it, that happens. It, it does it does fucking happen. And then two, that's his story, right? That's that's his character story. But so his character story wasn't like I dropped out of school and went to the hood and started doing. That was what Canaan did. But that but ain't what of, he did. But it's kind of like the same story because only thing they doing is mixing the two together. He's just doing it in different like like yeah, he's just doing it in a, a different location. I just say that to did say. Did you see? Did you see the point? Like, cause he like you see Mary J. Mary J. Blige, right? Yeah. Like yeah. her family yeah. is that grit family. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So they got the grit in it. Yeah. But then they then they try to try to do too much with trying to make the the grit in the the college life meet each other. Yeah. But it don't go together like that. Like I think it's, at an Ivy League school, this nigga come the first. As a freshman in the <laughs> Ivy League school, and this nigga come and take over the whole campus. But I think, listen, this is what I think. I think two is going to. I think two is going to. Rap. After his dad died, after he killed his dad, after all this damn drama, his mama's in jail. Yeah. And this nigga got the. I'm not the smartest person. I'm not the smartest person. But if your daddy <laughs> died and they think you or your mama killed your daddy, yeah. and your mama's in jail for that shit. Yeah. There's no way. That you would just be walking freely around the world and nobody be paying attention to you. And especially in a good college. Okay, yeah. but this is what I just want to say. Know. I just kind of think, I'm hating on him. I'm going to put that out there. I'm kind of hating on him because I never liked Tariq anyway. I so think now, this true. is what I think. I, I think that is the point. I think the issue is, 
And this is what I'm going to say about people. Because, again, I watched Power, the first one. Yeah. I watched some of two. And then after that, I was just like, I'm just. Three just, is good. It's, it's just mm-hmm. too much. It's, 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 just a, it's just a lot. Did you like Tyreek in the original Power? So, I, it, I did not really. At first, I really didn't even pay attention to him, right? Mm-hmm. And then I kind of understood, like, y'all mad at this kid. But it is kind of like y'all spoiled this kid, right? Yeah. Like you get what you what you put exactly, out. It exactly. wasn't like you was raising him to like you keeping him away from all that shit, but you doing the shit, right? right. Mm-hmm. So of course when he find out, he gonna be like, well, who wouldn't be like shit? I, well, I wanna be like you, I wanna do yep. this shit, I wanna be like you. So it was mm-hmm. expected. Like when people when he started doing shit right. and people was like, That shit dumb, I'm like, no, that's what most kids do. I mean, it's a movie. Yeah, because yeah, 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 but you mad or because he's fucking shit up yeah. for ghosts, right? That's yeah. why you mad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But a lot of motherfucking kids fuck shit up for their yep. parents after oh, they get yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was just like extreme. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't with that shit. We ain't got money like that. So it was just a little bit extreme. Extreme. That's what I'm saying, but it's so fucking extreme, right? <laughs> that he started another prior book and it's just as ex- like even extremer. I don't yeah. even know if that's a word. But what's crazy is from fans that I've seen, right? And this is mm-hmm. why I said fans do the roller coaster, right? Because yeah. the first fans was like powering off. People were like, fuck Tyreek, fuck Tyreek. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what we said. Then, I was one then, of them. Then, 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 then two, then two, you like. <laughs> Oh shit! That nigga kind of that like yep, shit. Tyreek, we was we was we wrong. Tyreek doing this shit we like you doing that. this. No, nah, but that's where I never went with yeah, it. I did say that because, but then he fooled me. I don't think it was believable because they had this nigga out of the game. He wasn't in it. Yeah. Then all of a sudden you get a little bit of experience. Then all of a sudden you take over a school. It was like I didn't know, like you would like think. how to believe that. Look up, look. So up. So that's just on top of not liking them. Yeah. Now you looking like okay, do I believe that? Tyreek, the dude that we've been not liking and doing all these fuck ups, is gonna go in here and successfully in one season become a kingpin. What was now the, you listen, watch Kanan. Hold on, you watch Kanan. Kanan's just fucking up. He's what? just fucking up. He make it look real. He didn't go get fucked up or nothing. Like nope. man, it maybe took what one episode with some drama and everything was fixed yeah. and now he the kingpin. You, you watch True right. Crime. You watch True Crime. <laughs> like damn, Tyreek. <laughs> you you watch True oh, Crime. Top, what top, was that? Yeah. What was that? White, Already at Harvard. What was that white boy's name? What was that white boy's name? You watch True Crime. You probably I probably I never have watched to ask Tasha. Yeah, right, hold I on, I like him. trivia questions. You, what you is probably have to, I probably have to ask Tasha. But there was this uh True there crime. there was this white kid. The white kid was like eighteen years old. Mm-hmm. He was just graduating high school. Okay. His, his parents didn't know. I mean, his parents was like, they was cool. They had some money, right? What happened to him? But he was like, shit, he didn't die. He's in uh, prison for the rest of his life. But he was like, shit, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to I don't want to do this shit. Like I wanna make my own money, I wanna do my own thing, mm-hmm. right? And he went in and scammed a whole bunch of people. Like, like, but smart. Went in, scammed a bunch of people. When he became 19, he started getting his name out there. When he became 20, he took over Wall Street. Tw- at 20. Mm. At 20. Mm-hmm. Out of high school. Took over Wall Street. Made all this fucking money. Mm-hmm. Was was kind of like mega million people. Billionaires out of their shit. Mm-hmm. And did that shit for a good seven years. Yeah. And today he got caught. And ended up going to prison for the rest of his life. But it wasn't just For the me. rest of his life? Yes. He didn't kill nobody? Yes, no, no, no. But, but he took so much money. He he literally took I don't I don't want to say billions, but I know he took a millions from like in that quick time. Like mm-hmm. not, and, and had no experience. And then that's he got out show? and start it start, No, it was real. Oh, I'ma look up I'm gonna look up dudes now. I'm telling well, that's what it, it is. So was that what the Wolf of Wall Street is based off of? No, the Wolf of Wall Street is based off a different person. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, people, not mm-hmm. just not with just dope. If you watch certain certain there's like certain documentaries that it'll show you young people who mm-hmm. got out who just start taking over it's, it's Taking over shit. Taking yeah, over shit. Yeah. Now, did they end up doing a lot of time afterwards? Yes. <laughs> but the shit is possible no, when you saying, hungry like that. I'm not saying it's I not saw a right. documentary where this teenager became like the biggest drug lord like in Colombia or some shit online. No, they said white boy That nigga looked and said, I got all of your orders in. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, that this nigga was moving them pounds online. <laughs> that fool said, like Am- a kid. Amazon will be there to drop off your bag. <laughs> this nigga had offshore bank accounts and everything, bro. This you know, is, I think, I think, I mean, like, <laughs> think about it like, most of the tech people, they start off yeah. young. Yeah. They hella yeah. young. Yeah. They they're like yeah. new, inventive. You know, they 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 they, they, they like what you're saying, right? Yeah. But we're talking about this nigga yeah. Tyreek. Yeah. 
that came from a troubling fucking home. Yeah, let's get like, back to Tyree. He was smart, but he wasn't like Ivy League smart in the way that yeah. he's moving. The way that he's moving, like nobody and he always they, moves stupid. Yeah, so now nobody in their right mind. Mind. Yeah, nobody in their right mind would move like he's moving. Like yeah. mm-hmm. I'm not even in the drug game. Never been in the drug game. But to <laughs> understand logic, nigga, mm-hmm. like common sense, mm-hmm. you don't just usually do this shit. He got too many people. That he confides into. Like, he got the white dude that's supposed to be waiting on him to yeah. graduate so he can get these millions of dollars. He yeah. got the white dude's boyfriend, the one that helped him start the app. Mm-hmm. He's talking about he cool with the drug kingpins. Yeah. And then he cool with the nigga, the, uh, the Ivy League son that's supposed to have this. He already fucked with money. too many people. So you can't be on top so, like so that. Let me, so let me ask you. Everybody know your so business. Let, so let me ask you this. <laughs> You know how many people can snitch on you? Then he cool with the Mary J. Blige family. That's how the nigga got locked up. The I'm Washington about to say, in you at school. But let me, let me, so let me ask you this. Do hold you, on, hold on, hold on. Do you think it would on, be better finish. if it was like and two then, seasons? And then, it's going to be a, No, mean? do you think it would be better if all of this stuff happened within a stretch of time? Like, do you feel like nah, it was just like, rushed into. That's what me and Ryan yeah. said. So, so that's what but I'm that's saying. One, but that's one. But the okay. other part is the way that he moved. Like, mm-hmm. even if, like, even when he was on regular power. Like he was moving, like <laughs> like he was like he should have been dead. Like yeah. there's no way he should not have been dead. Like he should have been dead, and like he done tricked the the drug lords against each other. Like come on, bro. Like then you then then you move Some on. Some of that shit be unbelievable. Unbelievable. Some of them situations bro. be like, bro. Like come how? On, he, man. Like he said. He, not not only is he setting the drug lords up, he's setting his dad up. He's setting his uncle up. He's setting other people up, and you yeah. trying to tell me this little 14, 15-year-old kid is doing this. I think Tommy yeah. shit should have came yeah. out first. I think Tommy <laughs> shit should have came out first, too. Yeah. I, th- I think he did that because it wasn't about, and no offense, it wasn't about hooking us, right? No, yeah, it wasn't about So, And us. this is what I mean. Yeah. So you got your you got your audience, right? Yeah. He's, he was trying. 50 is smart. No, I 50 is smart. But there ain't no kids was, watching listen, that. But it wasn't about, some of them do. Some of them None fucking of the do. Kids. I know. I'm, listen, go to, I'm telling too. you, go, go to them forums. Some of them motherfuckers like that shit. They, yeah. they do. And this is what I'm saying. The nigga's not stupid. We Just because we, we are critics of looking at some shit, right? Mm-hmm. That nigga's critics in numbers. So I, I think it's, it's to the point of, he already got us hooked with power, right? Mm-hmm. You already got us hooked. Yeah. We gonna watch the shit. Yeah. And then he already know I'm gonna really get y'all hooked with, with raising Canaan because yeah. it's literally it's the, just a it's fucking fifty cent yeah, story. Yeah, that's all it really if is. If you really look at it, it's just a fifty cent <laughs> story. So mm-hmm. when you so, but you know niggas gonna watch because the shit look yeah. good. Yeah. So he know he gonna hook us with that. So you yeah. gotta hook the younger crowd. He definitely know he gonna hook us with Tommy's story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know that shit. Yeah. I'm waiting on it. So it's like I'm the real niggas you. waiting on Tommy. I don't know yeah. who the fuck y'all waiting right. to see. So 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 waiting on Tommy. So the next show gonna be about when they get old and they still they still hustling so mm-hmm. he can connect mm-hmm. the older crowd to get this shit so now everybody just watching this shit of all ages man yeah. he, he, he fuck around to come up with a kindergarten show but think about but think about this ain't nobody ain't no kids really watching power because first of all most of the parents got to buy the app to even watch it so they will have to find a different way to I'm watch a, it n- uh, not, not, not said, only fire Renew yeah. your email. Not not saying that, <laughs> right? But normally time the kids that is yeah. like the kids that is in some shit like like some shit, like yeah. a TV show, is usually something that they already watching like on regular TV or something. Or through through Netflix or whatever, right? Yeah. Like to have the stars app, that means that you got the shit on your phone to where you can go and forth. So it, I don't necessarily think it's for the kids. Do you know mm-hmm. how much these but niggas think, be, be redoing emails in order for you to get that shit? Yeah, free? of course. Yeah. But I don't think I don't think the kids, kids are the masters of that. I shit. know, but every time I'm in the school, the kids don't be watching it. The kids <laughs> the kids watch dumb shit like that Squid Game. Have you watched that? Mm-mm. Like like the Squid Game is this big thing on TikTok where like it shows like this big ass doll and like these people like they look they like in jail or something they playing this game. Game, and it's red light, green light, or stop, or green light, yellow light, something like that, right? Mm-hmm. And when the, when the lady, she say uh, red light, she turn around, and if you moving, like, you get out the game, but the way you get out the game is they kill you. Like, they shoot you, like, on on on, on point. Like, so that's the movie I saw on Netflix? Yeah, that's the movie that you it's probably seen in the preview. Yeah, it's, it's a TikTok, you know, like, people. I mean, you, I didn't watch it, but I see it in the. You bro, I mean? this is how TikTok works, and this is con- this is so fucking crazy. School me, brother. Have you ever seen on tic- on Netflix where it say like the top ten movies? Yeah, like sometimes you looking on there. Yeah, like, I've been fucking that up too. Yeah, you some can look- old ass movies. Yeah, right, go that, ahead. that's what I was just gonna say. You look on there, you <laughs> like, how does old ass movie come back on this motherfucker? Right? Mm-hmm. It because the TikTok one of the one of the, somebody that went viral talking about it or saying like like that Squid Game. I don't even know what that was or even wanted to watch it, but then I seen the little uh, minute TikTok video and I was like, what the fuck? 
Yeah. I gotta watch it. So I downloaded all eight, eight, eight uh, shows, bro. I was it. about to say it's a series, though. Yep. So how the hell? Yep. I watched the whole series, and the series was cold, bro. I mean, I, I'm, I, time out. It wasn't cold. It was unique. The ending was trash, but the, in, the the movie was unique. Okay. Like, it was like one of those escape room type movies, but it was like, it wasn't like that. It was it was like, mm-hmm. you know you know how Asian people, they hook some shit up, man. That was, It was really well written. Man, we just watched a new escape room the other day, too. How did you like it? It was all right. Damn. I will say this. The puzzles wasn't that. Like, you know what I mean? The, yeah. um, I think the concept, but it was good. Yeah. Just the concept of that shit is scary, yeah. though. So they always going to be watchable. You know what yeah. I mean? Seeing people get away from that shit, from certain death. That leads me into this next thing I got to ask y'all. All right. Last night I watched uh, Prey on Netflix. I never heard of it. P-R-E-Y. Okay. You know what I mean? Not put your hands together, but like, you know what I mean? You. Kill a motherfucker. Like, Damn. hunt a motherfucker down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, bro, the movie Prey, it was kind of like, not plot-wise, but as far as the chase. Like, you remember Beckett? Like, motherfuckers getting chased and like, you remember the movie Beckett? Where they chased his ass, the whole movie? Then they watched the son? You remember that shit. Oh, that's, is that new or old? Like, uh, a couple remember. years ago. Oh, I never watched it, but I did see I see the preview. Yeah, it was like, um, so it was kind of one of those movies where like five hunters go out in the woods and shit. Like, they out there looking for some stuff, and this woman- Ooh. And this woman just fucking, like, you know what I mean, just hunts them down, just makes them her prey. And What? <laughs> like, literally. The 500 That's the whole context her? of the movie to the end where you figure out, like, you get a little glimpse inside why she's Hunting trying to fuck them. these people up. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it was like, those types of movies, like, I've seen two in the last, I say, two months. And, like, besides horror movies, those are my genres. So I was going to ask you. Because you just talked about the series, and it's like, it's not a lot of good movies. It don't seem like it's a lot of good movies, but it's more series with good, with good um concepts now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but you can't unless you got like hella binge hours. You can't invest in all of them. Yeah. So how do you? So how do you go about yours? You just go series, or do you even watch movies anymore? Man, it just seemed like if I like I'm gonna go to the series before I go to the movies because then. The series they drag. Damn, it. that's know, interesting because they take more time. You know the movie, the <laughs> movies though. The movies like once it's done, it's done. It's like God damn it! Like I wanted some more. But yeah. you know, a movie is like an hour and a half, two hours. But you can like most Netflix movies or the series they be like an hour or or forty five minutes or something like that. Or sometimes they be longer. So it's kind of like like power. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like watching Power as a movie, I probably been like, Ugh. but watching Power as like developing from mm-hmm. season to season it's been, it's been dope. You well, know with I mean? all of these series out, like you say, TikTok driving a lot of them, like they'll yeah, they get a are. little sign and then you go watch the Squid Game yep. and you to watch all eight episodes yep. and then you're disappointed. Like, that's eight hours compared to an hour and a half. Oh, that is true. But, but I will what? tell you this. Let me tell you this one thing before because I want to hear uh-huh. both of y'all opinions on this. Because when I look through them, it's like now sometimes they won't have series up there have a good-ass description or preview be playing and you think it's a movie. Yep. But yep. it's a series. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're trying to fool you yep. into watching it. Yep. But I don't know, man. I think it's a new life for binging. You know, binging been around since Netflix uh, dropped them streaming apps. So it's like you want to binge, bro. Like you, everybody want waiting on the new movie, to, uh, the new TV show to come out so they mm-hmm. can binge it. I remember the Orange and Orange is a New Black used to come out mm-hmm. every season. People used to go crazy. They'd be like, "Don't talk to me. I'm not doing. No, don't no. say nothing. I'm I'm in here all night." You be like, yeah. "Damn, like yeah. the whole night." Orange is New Black is my. my <laughs> so I'll say this: Do y'all think streaming services are like specifically catering to binge watchers yep. as opposed to the movies? Hell yeah, because. L- so a lot of the storylines for the movies ain't good. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> the movies come out and the movies seem like they legit. And in the end, you be like, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't think so. I think, Are they saving it for the series, Bianca? I the think, Netflix, I think, you ever I watch a Netflix just, movie? I think we just noticed that now because we have that option. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like. That's interesting. Okay. I do. I feel like we notice more things since we have more options. More options make you feel like, oh, this shit was whack, right? But yeah. when you don't have options, you like <laughs> this shit's pretty good. Like, this like but, but we got them now. I, I, but you know what? I honestly, this is what I'm gonna say, and I'm so sorry. Whatever, you know. <laughs> sometimes too much is too much. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, I think so. I feel like the shit streaming is becoming too fucking much. Why you said that? It's, 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 it's too fucking. I, I remember. With I that. remember turning on the TV was not overwhelming, right? Like sometimes I've scrolled so much and didn't see shit. Or just got tired of just looking at shit. I turned the fucking TV off. Like I'm, I'm too. This is just too much. Because when you think about it, okay, think about all the apps that you you have or that you watch. I can only go by mine. So basic, Hulu, of course, um, Netflix, Disney Plus, 
um, the free ones, Tubi, because mm-hmm. I like Tubi, mm-hmm. Crackle, Roku channel, mm-hmm. all those. So Paramount, mm-hmm. I got Paramount because I like Paramount. Um, just, just, just to name a fucking few, Discovery Plus because I like Discovery. Just to name a few. So, Damn, you paying all that shit? <laughs> you got a lot balling. of subscriptions, girl. Well, first with Sprint. You could get Hulu. Hulu free, yeah. You could get Hulu, right? So okay. I got my Hulu, my Prime. Yeah, I got that Prime through my TV, Spotify. Prime TV. So I got my Prime through through my my phone. So I don't have to worry about that, right? Mm-hmm. Netflix, of course. I just pay for Netflix. Mm-hmm. Then you know you connect with. Yeah, with, with, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> give me for the, for the, for the, uh, Disney Plus, I pay for that because I want to see my true crime and shit like that. Yeah. The rest of them, you just hook up with somebody, or you just look at the free ones. Because like I said, I like Tubi. I don't mind watching ads and shit. But my thing is, it. How is with, Disney with, Plus? With all the, I do. I like, well, I have Disney Plus for my kid, too, you know? Because okay. he, he loves Disney, so mm-hmm. it was stupid for me not to get it. Like, ESPN, people who like sports, they like it like mm-hmm. it because of ESPN, but I don't, I don't, I just watch yeah. that part. But I'm just like, it's just, it's exhausting because you you look at different shows, right? Mm-hmm. And you just like, okay, especially with a series. I'm with you. I yeah. don't like watching them because there's so many. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like, I have to watch eight episodes of this or I have to like clickbait, right? I watched clickbait cause I thought it was a movie. I didn't know it was a series. Yeah. Me too. But, but by, they, but by that time, yeah. <laughs> and they baited me, which I was like, this shit is smart. So let me watch it. But yep. if I would have known that I probably never would have watched it because yeah. then I'm invested this whole time. Right. I'm exactly. invested in this shit. And then I hop to another show. I got to get invested in this shit. So I'm watching this shit all day or for two days or three days or whatever. I mm-hmm. ain't watched shit else or I ain't looked at nothing else. And then I'm stuck <laughs> on this show and mentally because it's gone off. Yeah. Like when it goes off, I can't just hop to another motherfucking show. You know what I mean? Like I'm yeah. like, damn, I got to fuck. I don't know what to do. I got to watch this shit. Like, That's you know, why I ask because I'm not. like that with movies now because as a movie watcher, I get on Netflix or any of these um, streaming services and I'm looking for things. It's like you are not as pleased as you. Like if you were a series watcher, mm-hmm. because all of the concepts, all of the new shit, eight uh, episodes, all of this shit is there. When you're looking for a good movie, like I got to go to the Fire Stick, see what's new on there, or I go on Amazon Prime and see the movies to rent, go look it up on the Fire Stick maybe. It's like, it's harder to find a good movie to watch, and especially on Netflix now. It's harder because you have more more options. So when let's think about when first like Netflix came out, right? We excited. We like, this shit crazy. Yeah. Like, we excited. Because we could just search here. Mm-hmm. Hulu. Okay. Okay. It's good. Not too much. It's crazy. <laughs> we can watch our other shows here. And then another one comes out. Yeah. And then another one drops. Mm-hmm. And now channels are starting to do it. Mm-hmm. So now you got like oxygen and you could get it with this and you could get it with this. And you're like, damn. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to do. They brought and the politics in and now they split yeah, up all the shows. Now they split. But then that channel has its own little series of what's what's coming out for just that channel. Yeah. So you can watch their episodes. Niggas should have just stayed on cable. <laughs> literally. <laughs> they done but I'm a nigga. Over. I still got cable. I got Damn, all of that shit. Really? I'm streaming and I got cable because I'm constantly looking for something to watch. I'm one of the people I told you I'm right. old. The reason I got cable is because every time you sit in front of streaming services, like you have to be faced with a choice. I like turning on the TV, bro. And it might be something I might watch that shit all night. When you got a streaming service, you got to look for something. Now, if it's like five or ten minutes. I'm looking for something to watch, even if I ain't going, you know what I mean. Watch it, just listen to it while I'm on a computer or something. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, I just like I, turning I, the TV like on to, sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. I do too. I don't have my boxes, but I have a spectrum. I have the app on my shit. Yeah. And sometimes when it just becomes overwhelming, I don't think people understand that. Like, like technology for us. If you really sit down and fucking think, if you really sit down and think about, it, if you, I know when we say like we stop getting on social media, yeah. but I'm saying if you really go somewhere. Take a weekend and just like have no no social media, no internet, no nothing. If you really go somewhere and think about it, we are absolutely mentally fucked with technology. Yeah. Because we one, we depend on it so much. Two, it's like feed me, feed me, feed me. So you getting so much so much shit mm-hmm. that you're not able to think about nothing fucking else. Like you even what I <laughs> knew it was an issue when me picking out something to watch became overwhelming. Yeah, I knew it was an issue. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I go to the room and kind of like, with this shit, like, you know, I gotta, I gotta watch my net, not my Netflix. So I gotta watch mm-hmm. this, and I, he got his own shows and shit. And I'm like, what are they turning to? Th- <laughs> what are they turning? They taking th- all our time programming our asses. It is. <laughs> if you get up in the morning and you be like, shit, let me go, let me scroll and see what what's up on my social media, right? That's the first shit you thinking about. 
We used to kind of step outside and check the weather. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or just mm-hmm. see, see how shit is. Mm-hmm. But times but changing. Times do change, but at the same time. Uh, we going to be behind still deal, still talking about we used to? No, it's it, but it's important. Man, that, but some of the shit ain't healthy. It's important to Putting still. Putting in an eight-hour shift to watch a show is not healthy. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I feel like this. It's still important to keep your, your mental. It is important to keep your mental, and people cannot fucking tell me. You cannot, you cannot tell, tell me. You cannot tell me that my grandma wasn't sitting there watching three or four shows in a row. Gra- grandma was watching. And, and, grandma and was watching. None of these shit. And you watching three or four shows with but you, grandma. But you know okay. what? But you know what, grandma? Judge Judy. But you know what, grandma also did. I mean, I don't know about your grandma, but she you know what, grandma also. Doing all kinds grandma of shit. also spent time in the kitchen cooking a not just an instant meal, not popping no shit up in the air fryer. Grandma also spent time make, in the kitchen cooking real fucking meals. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers and out what, here. And what were we looking like when grandma was cooking them real fucking meals? Cousin got diabetes. We was, listen, listen. Everybody we over was, fucking weight. Listen, we was. Everybody sitting listen, down there. We was outside. We was still, How are we going to be outside and overweight? What I'm saying is. We, we was unhealthy. Listen, <laughs> like, a lot of. A lot of I'm, no. saying, I'm saying both is unhealthy. No. We was unhealthy. Most of the kids who had more money was a little bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but what, I, but what yeah. I'm saying is. We, we played was, outside, but we, we was, was hella eating. Let me ask you this. How often do your kid go outside? Do your, do your kids spend more time on in technology than yep. being outside? Yep. Yep, but most people most people so, spend so, more time on technology listen, than being outside. But if you were, but that's the point. But if you it's were, why? <laughs> why? Why is that ain't healthy? Yo, why is being outside? Why is being inside worse than being outside? I don't know about y'all, but a lot of shit happened outside and inside. I don't know. I don't know. If you outside, well, I don't even know what street you live. <laughs> a lot of shit happened outside. I just this is what inside. This, this is this is just shit didn't happen. This is just what I'm saying. This is just and this is just my opinion. Nobody else has to think like that. You can tell when you even for me because I even had to check myself. You can tell having a conversation with somebody who like is, is stuck in technology. Mm-hmm. Like this is the only fucking thing you like social media, watching of course, TV, shit of like course. that. You can tell with conversation. One, you can tell with with just the ability to physically. Mm-hmm. mentally do shit on your own mm-hmm. like you know like like you know when people used to actually have to fix shit or mm-hmm. when people used to actually get shit done mm-hmm. or or just the entitlement listen to the entitlement part we talk about our kids and shit but that's you feed them entitlement but then get mad when they feel like they fucking entitled mm-hmm. we feed them like of course we because when we used to see some shoes or something somebody else had them on right mm-hmm. but we feed them this shit we tell them look look at look at social media right and this and this is this is what you see and this is what you want and then we look at it like, why do you want to do this or why you want to be that well you, we just gave the shit Come to on them now. Yeah. we the same we was the same don't we say just, yes we, just, we, we just, was the same we way gave growing the shit up to them. the shit that you seen in the magazines <clears throat> you want it the things that you seen on uh uh jay-z in the the big pimping video you want it we, the, the shit that you seen cisco <laughs> running around with them thongs you want it but we like knew, this but is the listen, shit that we but, wanted but we knew but we knew jay-z had him not jt not jt on a on an instagram who re, we really don't even know what the fuck i was about to do. say it's way different now when we it's, used to worship and idolize people back in the day it was a lot more structured than is it i mean than it is now your parents knew who the fuck you idolized these days you don't know who the fuck your kid idolized your and if he's know. positive or not because they got so much shit Ron, to watch Ron, there's no way your parents knew you was idolizing bow wow in nwa at the same <laughs> time bro if they knew that, they would have had. A, they would have had it. My mama that. liked Bow Wow. Listen, My th- mama loved Bow Wow. Listen, I, I, I think they knew. I think they knew. They just didn't tell them. They just wouldn't tell but them. They used to find my motherfucking tapes. It was different back in the day. What you gonna find? Your kid could watch literally anything on his laptop or his phone and delete that shit. Only if you going in and see what they searching and all that shit. But these kids are smart now. You got to put a program in all the right, house. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. When would you fucking run? Mm. When would you fucking? Oh, when was your first? Yeah, when Where would you first you fucking? When would you? When I was you a late fucking? bloomer. I was like fifteen. You were sixteen? Yeah. How old would you? Fifteen. Fifteen, right? I was seventeen, right? That the the, hey, the me. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Older than a, hold, on. Hold, on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, but I'm trying to tell you that at fifteen and sixteen, at fifteen and sixteen, right? Right. <laughs> that was right. I was no. 17 on my shit. Yeah. I'm only no. doing. I went to the prom. <laughs> prom night. <laughs> you see how you try to that play me? You see how you try to play me? You see this shit? No, go ahead. You know who that influenced said, you? That fool said it's got to be bro, special. Bro, you know who influenced you to do that, bro? Be special. Who? Your friends. NWA? Are, no, nigga, the friends around you, bro. Like the stuff that you're you talking right? about. Mm-hmm. We talking about the internet and whatever, bro. Your friends didn't even have the fucking internet. And they persuaded us all to fuck, bro. Like, even when I just said it, you was like, you wait no, to your prom. Bro, listen to this. Even while you said it, bro, you said this nigga didn't fuck to his prom day. What do you think they were talking about in high school when I wasn't <laughs> fucking?
asking, bro? <laughs> what did you think they were saying? <laughs> They kept calling me a virgin boy. They kept telling me I ain't getting no pussy. I was a varsity basketball player. I'm in the locker room. Niggas on Friday nights is talking about, oh, I'm about to give me some butt. You know what I mean? Like, niggas in your high school is talking about sex. You should have been getting pussy too. You on the team? I know, right? But I What happened? My mom over them was structured. They was like, you don't need to be doing, you know, like how your mom is in them. Like, I was the one that was more, more like, I was more outgoing, but I didn't want to stretch that mile to get my ass whooped for real. Yeah. But I didn't want to do it okay, to where, I, I didn't want to do it to where like everybody else was doing it. They was just fucking in the yeah. car or pulling up in the parks and shit and just fucking <laughs> like I'm looking like nigga, I'm scared to go to jail. Like I don't want to be fucking like that. But but you caught fucking out here. You yeah, was I, the you was the, the I was a preacher kid. You was the quiet one. Listen, I'm just I will say I I'll say this after after we record because this shit some of this shit seems a little questionable Uh-oh. now since now since I'm a little a little now since I'm a little in the know. <laughs> However, I I will say I I get what you're but saying. But you see what I'm saying. But my this is my thing. This is this is just my only thing. Don't uh-huh. get me wrong. There is a because there's a positive and a negative to everything, right? Of course, a- everyone knows this. And we could name we name positives and shit all the time. We yeah. do like getting the podcast out there, getting your business out there. This is right. it's great, but you can't say you know when somebody named the negatives, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. The 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 negatives of of certain things are are more out there than they used to be. Like yeah, this shit happened back in the day. Shit fucking happened back in the yeah, day. But you, but you know what I noticed though? I noticed that people were more aware of certain shit. Which is crazy because we should be more aware of shit now because it's more of ways to, to like for get an to example, what were people more aware of then than now? Okay, I will I will tell you this. I will tell you this, right? So it seems to me, and this is only coming from I don't know about y'all, but this comes from my my niece, my son, mm-hmm. my nieces and nephews, okay. my little cousins, just them as being kids, right? All right? Okay, so we I feel like we were more. Aware of even okay, even going outside not being as trusting, right? Mm-hmm. Just playing outside. You just mm-hmm. you. It's not like people didn't steal kids, like didn't get kidnapped and shit mm-hmm. like that. But you knew more of hey, this shit could be dangerous, right? right? Mm-hmm. And now it seems to me when I have these conversations with with younger kids, they're a little more like this shit don't happen. Like things like this don't really be happening and mm-hmm. shit like that. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. It it does mm-hmm. just of the just of the dangers of the world. People seem they seem more occupied with just like no nah, this shit like this is what I'm occupied with. Yeah. Or I could tell my son right. I could tell my son like hey, go do three things like turn your light off, cut your door, da 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 da. Right. Mm-hmm. He's so worried about getting back to his tablet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He'd do one out of the two things that I asked him, right? Mm-hmm. Like one out of, because his mind, and then he'll really say it like, well, I was just trying to get back to my tablet. Yeah. And it's like, you need it mm-hmm. yeah. so fucking much yeah. that you forget about, even even us. Okay, we can have something, some shit to do. Get on Facebook or TikTok and shit. And f- totally fucking forget. Or totally just be like, mm-hmm. well, I'm going to put this shit off to the side. Yeah, right. It, it's, mm-hmm. it's just the of being aware of, of like, just life and how much this shit takes takes a toll mentally, and of course it is. Like people don't create this shit just to. You, no, people got to be crazy. A lot of people have to be crazy to be like a COVID vaccine is dangerous, but this shit is fine. Yeah. Like nigga, you great. Like, yeah. do you understand? <laughs> but when you say something about this shit, then it's like, no, it's not as dangerous. Like if a person really no, want to get to you, like, I feel I feel like this is da- no. I feel like that was a dangerous. good point that she just made. But I'm about to give you that's another the point. difference. I'm about to tell you the difference. That's the difference. Let's difference. say if the pandemic happened 20 years ago before social media, right? You wouldn't have all these people scared to voice their opinion on it. Everybody's the whole world is pressure with social media, bro. It's okay. like man, they I took think, that motherfucker. Now everybody's a, a telling think, you how you should feel before you even know about the situation. I'm about to break it down to you, and I'm just gonna <laughs> say I'm about to show you this. Okay. I'm about to counter what you said about the tablet, right? Yeah. Because I grew up with brothers, right? Okay. And every Christmas, my mama used to get us a new game system. Yeah. PlayStation. Yeah. We had the PlayStation 1. We had the 2. We had yeah. the Xbox. We, we had, did we, too? No, we had the shit, yeah. right? Yeah. I remember my pops had to put us on punishment. Take the game and put it up in his room mm-hmm. because we could not get off the game, right? Mm-hmm. That was our tablet. Like, yeah. that's like we. he even set up us up a little TV in the corner. Like, nigga, you ain't going to be using the big TV. Mm-hmm. The little TV in the corner with yeah. his little bitch on there. Because they used to think they used to gonna take, it's going to mess up their TV. Yeah, so we stayed on that yeah. little bitch on Every the corner. Every grandparent. I kid you not from. Fucking my color, nigga. Like, we would go outside and play basketball. <laughs> she don't even look right no more. <laughs> 
Hell yeah, that booty Judge Joe that Brown booty. don't look right now. It was the color. You got Take that. my shit off of here. Take you this shit that, off of here. That dang on device on my thing. And my cover's messed up. It didn't happen until you hooked up that, 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 that system. I mean, even the Sega Genesis yeah, and yeah. Nintendos, yeah. like, we was stuck on them. Even but you know what? I don't, but, I don't, but I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all because. For, I'm telling for, you. But what I'm saying is that could have been, we <laughs> were still, we had everything too. Even Atari. We had Atari when that motherfucker first came out. But what I'm saying is, we still played that, and we still fucking went outside. But d- us going outside. I was going, just about to say there on. were rules. But hold on. But us going Parents out. Parents still had rules because you had the game. Look at Especially this. if they bought you a game, you had listen, rules. Listen to this. Us going outside to play was us going outside to play. We wasn't working. We wasn't doing nothing. It, like, if you playing on the game or playing outside, playing kickball, it's the same damn thing. It's no difference than what you're doing. It's just you're doing one outside and you're doing one inside. It wasn't no difference. I'm playing nah. games. I'm playing games on the inside with my friends. What the hell you saying? Bro, if you outside experiencing life, that's better than getting wrapped up in a laptop. Life about and what? We you, you, trying to tell me, you trying to tell me you can't experience about life? About what? Experience, okay, tell me what you was experiencing life outside that you didn't experience in life, the kids are not experiencing life on the internet. Tell me the difference. All right, first of all, that's the difference. One is fake, and the other one is real. I was actually out riding a bike or just talking with friends and meeting people, going to the basketball court, just all types of stuff to keep my day filled up. Dude, me, I couldn't play that game all me, day. Let me ask you this. We go on NBA Live. We go to the basketball court. We got the <laughs> NBA 2K. I can get yeah. my friends and buddies together. We can go online. We can even FaceTime let each me, other at the same let time. Me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay, for your business, for Elevate, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all got TVs in that motherfucker, right? Yeah. Okay. It ain't my TVs, but, but yeah, TVs. they got TVs in But there. let me ask you this. So instead of actually going to the spot, why don't you just hook yourself up? Why why don't you just like live? I'm about to tell you this. I'm about to tell you this. Boys to men, uh in another uh 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 R and B famous R and B group, mm-hmm. they do live shows now. You have to pay to do you gotta pay twenty, twenty five dollars to see them perform live on on T V. Like so it's a thing that they Oh, do. they gotta sell that show? Yeah, that's a thing that they do. It's just that I mean, like with the pandemic, it's gonna it's gonna get more popular, right? But, but no, but I'm but ask- I'm not gonna do. But it. I'm asking you. I'm not talking about voice men. I'm asking Cortez. Why don't you hook yourself up instead of going there every every <laughs> Wednesday? Why don't you just hook yourself up to the to the thing and just like you you still there, but you're not because your TV can do that too. Your TV yeah, can hook you. Yeah. So you know, certain people may like that. But what I'm but, but I don't but like why that. Why don't you do? Why? I don't like that. Why? I like being around people. But my kids, my kids, like. You but so the question is, as a kid, you, were you the go outside type? Did you like to go outside and play basketball, I was or both. did you? I was both. Like I was, the, I was like, yeah. like I had brothers, so we played outside, but we also played inside. It wasn't like we was just primarily outside. But, but sometimes, like, I was killing niggas on the on the on the uh, PlayStation. <laughs> but both. sometimes, did you? But sometimes, you can you, fuck with me on live, bro. But some, <laughs> I couldn't do it. No, no, but bro. sometimes, no, didn't you have? Did your parents oh, say? And this <laughs> depends on the household. Did your parents ever say, like, go outside and play? Yeah, you know what? You know what I went over. You know what? You know. You know what? Another reasons why parents don't say go outside and play, because where I'm from, you go outside and play, and you hear, and you're like, what the fuck? And it be right around the corner. It ain't even fire. No, that's, time. What, that's when they told you. No, nah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah like you, you, hear that, you know, you hear that gunch. I'm talking. About, I'm talking about as you go, as we have went by. Like you, yeah. like you don't. Even, you probably don't even let your kids go outside. Like no, you let your you know, sons here, go outside. Here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. One 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 definite thing that that has changed from back in the day, right? Back in the day. Yes, it was. It took a village to raise your child, yeah. right? And I will say this: I don't give a fuck what nobody say when people be like, uh, "The parents don't want the village to take care of the child." No, nah, the village ain't doing what the village used to do. Mm. The village used to, if if your parents went home, you got locked out. You go over Miss Edna's house, or you go over somebody's house and stay. Yeah. If, if you they feed you while you was there until your mama came, like the the village actually did more than chastise your motherfucking ass. The village helped raise your motherfucking ass, and now the village just want to help. Whoop your motherfucking kid or chastise your kid, but you don't want to do shit else, though. You don't want to. Mm-hmm. And that is the difference. But do I let my kid do I, I? It was important for me, and I swear to God, and this is just me. It was important for me for my son to know both because I was both, too. We yeah. was inside playing the game, yeah. but we was actually going outside. Like, we right. want it was a, it was a want to go outside. Mm-hmm. So it was important for me to be like, I'm like, Kai starting to be on the tablet. He's starting to be on, like, I, I this is, I do not let him get on, and it is what it is. Like, I don't let him do TikTok, even the kid shit. I don't let him do none of that shit. How old I, is he? He's six. Oh, he's he's six. I don't, I don't let him do none of that shit because uh, at the end of the day, here's the here's the thing. I want my I want my kid to be 
I still want him to be self-sufficient and I still want him to think on his own. And I do feel like sometimes a lot of these things, even when you talk to somebody and you listen to their conversation, like you said, a lot of social media shit sways your, your, your own thoughts. Mm -hmm. It sways you to be like, Oh, this makes sense. Or this is what I want. And I don't, I don't want that shit to happen. I still want you to be a free thinker Mm -hmm. and think on your fucking own. So, so I'm not going to be able to keep you away from things forever, but as long as I can, yeah. And not have <laughs> give you so much access to certain shit. Cause Kyle come to school and be like, oh, these they knew this or they knew that and and or and I said this. Then yeah, that's cool. You ain't gotta do that shit. You don't have to think what everybody else gotta think or wanna do what everybody else wanna do. Like mm-hmm. some people like mm-hmm. I still say you wanna be a zoologist and shit. And people are like a zoologist, da, da, da. That's yeah. what that's what he wanna do. It was very important for me to say, I'll give you this. But I'm not going to fully throw it in your fucking face because it can be overwhelming. And a lot of reasons why a lot of these kids are doing a, a, a lot of fucking shit are depressed about certain shit. Because you don't understand that is a lot of fucking information. That's a lot of information. And it's very important for you to still have that, yes, go outside. Go explore. Go touch some fucking grass. Go, ex- go explore some shit. Let's go walking and you tell me what the fuck you see or let's have a conversation about it. Because, because one, it, it, even playing with other kids is still social interaction. Mm. Know how to fucking talk to somebody. Know and, and be comfortable with it. Mm. it. It's it's there are certain things that were important for us to 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 do certain <laughs> things. Like even through COVID, through the pandemic, we still went outside. We walked. We still did things because I don't want you to fully just be yeah. involved with nothing but just TV and technology. It's just it's, it's just. If it's too much and I'm fucking overwhelmed, I can only imagine you as a six year old what the fuck it is. Like so, so yes. Yeah. So it's I, way too much, is what it is. Like, um, back to what we were just talking about. The difference between now and then, I think you could form your own identity when you was young. When when I was young, because you didn't have this broad spectrum of people already prejudging shit that you had never even thought about. It's all it's judgment on everything, especially a six year old. Yeah. The cartoon character you like might have got canceled last week. We found out this nigga was gay. We found this nigga in the coke room or some shit. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, yeah. now you can't talk about Winky in front of your friends and shit. You know what I mean? It's it's so many fucking things psychologically that go through, like the music topic we had. Back in the day, when I went and got my Snoop Dogg album, when I listened to Doggy Style, I didn't hear no opinions except the shit I read in fucking in the magazines. You know what I mean? They opinions on it. Yeah. You can consume it without having the burden of everybody else's opinion on every fucking thing in your motherfucking life. What yeah. you wear, how you walk, yeah. how you talk. And kids who are raised up in that, how do you truly find your own identity? How do you know if it's fucking yours? If they say TV used to program us, what the fuck you think is going on now? Because look at the options now. You can't even go, man, people barely go one hour without looking at something. You know what I mean? Back then, you didn't have all that shit. You didn't have to be, like, in one day, you can figure out how you're supposed to dress, what you're not supposed to do, what you're not supposed to say, how you're not supposed to look. Like, I think, I'm glad I didn't grow up in I think about, like I said, I would have been a tech guy and fucking rich with the technology side of it, but all this other shit, man, I'm glad I got the form me first, because I what don't think know? a lot of people are actually walking around knowing who, who the fuck they are. But, you know, as we get older, we always look at situations like that at younger people, right? Because in our mindset, we didn't develop another mindset. But when our when we was kids, our parents had a different mindset than we had as kids. Yeah. Like, our parents may have, like, you, like, may have, I don't know, like, I grew up with both of my parents. Mm-hmm. So, we had two different type. I mean, we had the same type of structure. So, we didn't mm-hmm. really move around a lot. We didn't do a lot. Like, we yeah. just went to church play basketball, went mm-hmm. back home. Like, that's, what, like, pretty much our lives for a long time. Yeah. So, like, for, for, for my parents to think like that, your parents may have thought a different way. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like, I know, like, when we get older, we be like, this rap music these motherfuckers listening to don't make no damn sense. Yeah. But our parents was like, <laughs> this rap music these motherfuckers listening to, what the fuck is this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I know how we look at it, but we looking at it as – as parents, you know what I mean? But we're not really looking at it as if we were kids back then, how would we really have been? But, but it's right. but like, or, or, or or if we were kids now, mm-hmm. what we really been on. So here's what I don't want. Here's what I, I want to make sure that, that we're not doing. So it's not, like I said, there's a positive and negative to everything. I, I think, I, I won't sit up here and say that 
it's not great things in technology. I won't, I won't get up and cause we use it. We all use, it. we all have social media pages. We all use the shit. Mm-hmm. My whole thing is just that I think, and this is just my personality, but I feel like that for everything. I think it is, it's good to have the best of both worlds, right? Because when you become too dependent on certain shit, you, you, you depend on that shit. Like it's, that's just it. Like when the pandemic happened, right? Kids like, what the fuck are we going to do? Like, what are we going to do? Like we, mm-hmm. we, we in the house, we, we got all these gadgets and shit, but you've been in the house for a year now. Them gadgets starting to get a little bit too, um, boring to your motherfucking ass. Right. Yep. And like parents are trying to find new creative ways to keep their kids interested in shit. You know what I mean? But when you become too dependent on something, it's like you have fucking nothing else. Like this is, if this shit don't work, I don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. I think it's important to know how to do shit. It's just like, like when they say it's important to know how to fucking change your tire because you never know what's going to happen for a man or a woman. You never know what's going to happen. You can sit up here and call triple A, then motherfuckers might not come. You know, it's, yeah. it's important for you to have the best of both worlds. Yeah, you could be able to call these motherfuckers, but just in case that shit don't work, you know how to do it yourself. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's in, it's important for that for that to happen. I, I do think that it's not like kids don't face a lot of fucked up shit now. The bad thing about it is like, okay, like the bullying aspect, right? Now kids have to, a lot of younger kids are now killing themselves, like 10-year-olds killing themselves because you could be bullied at school. Yeah. But guess what, nigga? When you come home, you getting bullied too if you get on motherfucking social media. What, what was worse? What was worse though? Getting bullied on social media, get bullied in your neighborhood. No, what, what I'm saying <laughs> is, shit. but what I'm saying is, in your neighborhood, you gotta see that nigga every day. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, what happens? What happens if you get all? What happens if you get all three? What happens if you get bullied at school, right? And this is what I'm saying. We used to come home and be mad like motherfuckers, like motherfuckers at school talking shit or something. Foot bad happy, you like fuck. Okay, there's some other shit gonna happen next week. <laughs> yeah. Niggas ain't gonna say that, right? Or exactly. you just like, fuck it, I get tired of getting bullied all the time at school. Like, and you at home, you know, like, fuck, I get tired of getting bullied. Mm-hmm. But now, shit, you're bullying shit, come home. All right, let, let me ask you this, though. You stay, you st- like, the, the majority of the, I don't wanna say majority, not skip majority, but some black people grow up in the hood. Like, we grow up in tragic places to where outside is not a place that you wanna be at. And you grow up in a place to where, technology is probably just like your book like you get taken away like you will read a book you yeah. get taken away in this particular but we thing. know the difference but let's be real and i'm not trying to say it's not kids because i grew up with kids who were like like book well you know like right yeah. and, and tech heads so this is not this is not for people who are really like this is what i like to do like this is it this is just what i like to do uh-huh. and i like to create and i like to, and that's cool i'm not saying anything is fucking wrong with that i'm not saying that even back in the day i'm not saying that people who like to sit in the house and, and kids who like to create jigsaw puzzles and shit mm-hmm. i'm not saying that shit was bad for them either because that's what you like to do but w- the point that i'm saying is and we cannot act like this shit don't happen i do believe what ron said like sometimes kids do want to do certain these things because because of influence like you could like fucking doing something but mm-hmm. if motherfuckers talking down on that shit you more apt to be like oh shit that ain't shit Th- that's that, what that's- i'm thinking mm-hmm. that's what i'm saying like i think y'all thinking it as y'all thinking it as this big thing right like it's, it's only y'all only generalizing it big right like it's a massive thing right but if you if you generalize it to when we was kids or we, how we was going through stuff like it was small it was a small circle of things going on but these same things were going on like, mm-hmm. but they was in your small circle. Now, y'all generalizing it in this big circle, right? But mm-hmm. what I'm thinking is, if it's in a small circle, it's probably going to be a lot worse than the, the whole world knowing about it. Like, mm-hmm. for an example, I know what you're saying, though, like, if it's all three, right? But for an example, like, we didn't have technology back then, right? But I still talked about Ron. I still <laughs> talked about what the fuck he had on that day. Yeah. And I, but see, this, and this, is, and this is what I'm saying. First of all, I, I, think we, I think we want, we, I mean, we agree to disagree. Like I said, for me, for me and mine, for me and my household, we will not. You but, talk like your mom. But no, I, I, I feel like I, I, I do. I feel like it's better to, to, for my kid, it's better to get the best of both worlds. Like I, I am not going to, I, I'm not going to. Of I, course. I, I understand that. I understand that. Like this is going to happen, and this is what I'm saying. There are great things. How is he going to be ready if he don't know the TikTok era? Like how you going to be ready for the jokes? Why do we got to be why nigga? We was ready for the jokes. So we didn't have TikTok. Say, but you, but yo, TikTok. your brothers didn't clown you. But but you had brothers. You think I ain't got no brothers? He got cousins. This cousins be and t- and, clowning and, 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 and yes, and he clowning them motherfuckers back. Oh, I got to see this. And this, I and see this, this is this my shit. point. This I got to see this. This is my point. You don't necessarily. It depends on what type of family y'all got. 
Hood families, no, you don't need just brothers and siblings to clown. Shit, an uncle or, or an auntie to clown your motherfucking ass. Like, mm-hmm. you can get clowned to any, your grandma might clown your ass. You can, yeah, exactly. You can get caught at any exactly. moment. So I don't know what type of family y'all had, but I know shit. You step the up, you family was clowning the six year old? Listen. Not the L- six year old. Listen, listen. Yeah, the mom of the six year old, but not the six year old. Nigga, please. The, the, Newborns. What the fuck? Just brought the baby in the house. Sit that little ugly motherfucker down and help me clean this shit. <laughs> shit, what the fuck? My grandma didn't give a fuck. Listen, look at the head on that butt. Six years? <laughs> and then you go comb that swoop over the head. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm this saying. This is going to feed you. Man, your grandma, your grandma, <laughs> was, not, your your gra- your grandma was not the bully for the six-year-old. Listen, There's no way listen. your grandma was a bully Hell as yeah. a six-year-old. That's tough love. Like listen. Southern listen. love. But this she was a six-year-old bully, bro. <laughs> there ain't no way. Listen, Maybe this she didn't some shit. No, nah, but you shit. probably hear the words from her than but, you would anywhere but else. The nigga, but, but the nigga that, at your school that point at you like this, that's not <laughs> grandma, bro. It's five <laughs> niggas doing but, this, but bro. But listen. But listen, it cousins. I mean, I get honestly, that. But this is, but this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You don't need, and this is just me. You don't need, depending on your the type of family that you fucking got. Yeah, nigga, it can happen at any time. You, you, you learn your best fucking skills. You learn some good skills, nigga. I learned you learn mine from my quick. pop. I learned mine from my pop, but okay. I executed that shit at school. Okay, like you had to. Yeah, you had so to you get could, the so tape. you could feel, so you could fill it out. Right. So you, so you could right. fill it out. You right. could, you could get. You I could had to hit everybody with it. I was, yeah. I was the one that was getting bullied most of the time. The people that are the funniest is the ones that we used to get bullied. Okay, like people used to, you know, in what grade tall, though? In what grade? High school? Question. Nigga, in middle school. Oh, okay, like, I started in middle the, school. Like I was, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm the tallest nigga right in my sixth grade class. Plus, I play basketball. Plus, I talk shit. Plus, I'm like. Yeah. And then I play on the varsity basketball. I'm on like, I, I'm in sixth grade, so I'm playing no basketball team. But I'm the manager and shit. But mm-hmm. I'm hooping with them in practice. So the first thing they are gonna do is mess with the sixth grader. I think I put in the trash can. You didn't go to school with your kid. older brothers. This nigga put me in the trash can. That's what's questionable. This nigga like that was my brother. Yeah, <laughs> all your brothers was the one with all shit. He helping everybody else out. This nigga tripping, bro. So my whole thing See was at home, nigga. And that's who got you prepared. See what my I'm whole yeah. thing. He was right no. there with you in the real hey, world. Hey, hey. He supposed to. He, <laughs> he's hey. supposed to protect me. Now if I was playing the game. My buddies would have had my back. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> hey, he's hey, he's Why your brother to Listen, help though? Cortez, Cortez said he's supposed to want to protect me. His brother was, his brother was like, nigga, anything, anything can happen at any time, nigga. Shit. Getting you ready tough, for life, nigga. Tough where said, I'm at, bro. Anybody can change on your motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, some other niggas put me in the trash can. He had to get me out of it. He had to fight the niggas and shit. Nah, he wasn't like that. Hey, but. That nigga said, that nigga was taking trash off his shoulder. That nigga said, get that. <laughs> he, like, he used to come Tell out there and try to help me out and shit, but there's been a couple of times, nigga, he'd have tripped me and shit on a, yeah. on some shit. But <laughs> he was walking through the bushes, see if he can handle it. But guess what you can fucking do that you couldn't do back then? What? Like, what? You can just log the fuck off. You can take your kid's phone and be like, this ain't this ain't life. But when you went back to school mm-hmm. and we walked to that fucking bus stop mm-hmm. and they hit you with a, I used to hit everybody. My 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 cousin Mike used to come in. Everybody wore the, the Dockers or the Dick Dick. What's they called? The Dockers. The uh the uh yeah, Dockers yeah. and Dickies. Dockers. They both a brand. Yeah. yeah well, you, the tan the tan joints. The the stiff one. Were they the Dickies? Okay. Yeah, they was the, the Dickies. Dickies. The Dickies, right? right? I had the tan joints. I had the white white. We, we wear uniforms. I had to hold the white collar and all the other shit, right, mm-hmm. bro. That's why it was bullying. This you, nigga, right? no, this nigga <laughs> Mike. Wore the fit. Nah, he this wore the nigga. Whole fit. This nigga Mike, but if we had to, we had to wear this you at should, school. You should have wore Stanford with your with the as the shirt. <laughs> nah, but that you was couldn't. the Missouri thing. That was yeah. Stanford's are white tees. No, this isn't. This is we had to wear uniforms. This was our uniform. It was uh, a polo oh, shirt. It's what they, okay, and, okay, yeah, okay, that's what okay, I was okay, saying. Y'all okay. didn't wear uniforms. Where did you go to? <laughs> nigga, I ain't never worn no goddamn. <laughs> We had to wear uniforms. Where'd you wear uniforms you at? You went to private I, I school? To, I went to Argentine. They used to have oh, uniforms. Oh, that's when they, yes, Argentine. Yeah. Yes, we was the first Argentine, one to have uniforms. Yeah. These niggas got sucked out. So my whole my whole sixth to eighth grade, we in uniforms, yeah, right? Yeah, they Cause did. Because of Mike show up, you know, like, this is the fresh uniform. You had a nice, I yeah. forgot what the shirt was. It was a nice-ass polo shirt <laughs> with some nice-ass Dickens. Yeah. Dick, what was it Dickies, called? Dickies. 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 God yeah. damn. And they, some nice-ass shoes. It's been a fucked up episode for you, right. Cortez. <laughs> And a nice ass, uh, <laughs> nice ass shoe, right? Okay. This Dickies. nigga Mike came to school with some off brand Dickies, with some off brand <laughs> shirt. You see how little that shit is. The nigga had on the yeah, school clothes, little, yeah. but this nigga had to see me at the bus stop. You know what happened with Mike? <laughs> nigga started to be the best dresser of the school. See how I helped that shit? Changed his life. Changed that shit. <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. But kids can't take that shit no more. 
They never was able to take it because when they used to go home crying, they mama, the mama used to have to come up to the school. The mama used to have to tell that we was bullying. Now bullying. No, nah, it wasn't excessive. as bad back then, though. No. You might have got bullied. I was about to say, no, no, no. You no, might have no. got bullied to talk shit because of what you didn't have, but no, you didn't I have to go about, all day seeing these motherfuckers with it. No, no, Most no. of the time, the people talking didn't even have it. No, no, they no. just talk shit to your ass because that's what kids do. Listen, I'm telling you, Chelsea Elementary Hood School, <laughs> 20, yeah, 25th yeah, Street. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Listen, what I'm telling exactly. you, depending on what school you. You exactly. go to. Can my boy because, go there? Can my boy Kai listen, go there? Because listen, can even, Kai go there? Listen, even even can Kai go there? Yes and no. Listen, even the dustiest dudes, even the dustiest <laughs> dudes, I knew some of the dustiest niggas. And even though they was dusty, them niggas would still crack on your motherfucking Damn. ass. Damn. Yeah. They'll still crack on your motherfucking ass and have your ass crying. And then if your motherfucking ass kept coming with it, they'd beat your motherfucking ass. <laughs> so it depends on what school you went to, my dog. It depends on what school you went to. Because I done seen some niggas like, shit, you don't fuck with, uh, <laughs> you don't fuck with Junior over there. Yeah. You be, like, nigga, you oh, don't really fuck with that. Of course. It's always one of those niggas So, so nah, nigga, it was, a, it was a gang of motherfuckers on 25th. It was a gang of motherfuckers. And you be like, shit, you know they people ain't really got no, that much money. But you don't really fuck with them That's niggas. why they dangerous. That's, yeah. this, they gonna dangerous. crawl on your motherfucking ass or they gonna whoop your ass. You gotta pick which way you want to. Can so Kai go there? For what? For school. For what? <laughs> what do you mean? Can he go there? What does he need to go there for? Can he take you? I'm saying, I remember the original question. I don't think Chelsea like that no more anyway. No, I'm saying, I'm, the original question was, the original question I was asking y'all was, can you replace the two? Can you, can Kai go to Chelsea then and can you adapt to what's happening now? And you'll probably be like, nah, Kai can't go to that school that it, like how it was happening then. You wouldn't send him there. You wouldn't send him there. So when you talk about when you talking about you the see, kids, my, mom, my mama sent me there to prepare I myself. I know, I know, but I'm saying you wouldn't send him there. <laughs> I was gonna say my mama sent me there to prepare myself from White Church to Chelsea. Do you know how much of a fucking difference that is? I know, is? I know. Kids these days she, couldn't handle but school is he back having, in the day. But and she, and can she, he go there? Yeah. He can't go no fucking you there. Know, you wouldn't let him listen, go there. Listen, the school, I mean the school that he Right now, let's, right let's, now let's, I'm saying Chelsea is like it was back in the day. And you sent them down there at Chelsea Elementary you, School right now. You must not be hearing what I'm saying. My mother sent me there willingly, nigga. It's not like we moved. <laughs> it's not like we <laughs> fucking moved and I had to go there. I did not. She could have left me at White Church <laughs> or she could have put me in Chelsea. Is that a White Church? The White Church Elementary School. So and why so why did she move you to Chelsea? Because cause I, I needed to adapt. What you mean? Getting ready for the streets. <laughs> listen, literally. Raising Bianca, goddamn, you gotta go to jail. She was already in a family like that. Literally. So why would you have to raise in the streets? Because I needed to. Because I needed to. You need to learn how to throw them hands. Nigga, really. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Literally, like uh, I, 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 it was. It was. It was like a. It was like a, a, a social. Uh, it was like a. How long was you there? Social crisis. How long was you there? When I got there. Yeah. Uh, I went to Chelsea. What was that? Like third grade, middle third grade. So was it the bad school? I'm trying to. Hold on. So you no, went. I'm lost. Wasn't that, so you went to the, third. You went. You went there. So like just th a, I just like a third, half of the third grade. I went like third. No, I, no. Uh, I went there from third to fifth grade. Oh, uh, I thought you said yeah, middle. Oh, no, no, third. no. I didn't know you say how long. Uh, yeah, like how long? Day. How? Yeah, yeah. You was there from third so, to fifth yeah, grade. So I went there from third to fifth grade. Where'd you live at? Changed, changed my motherfucking. Where'd you live at? On 89th. On 89th. You can't go to the hood and then go eat good at the 89th Street. <laughs> that don't make no damn sense. Listen, let me tell like you. you visiting and the mother at the 89th Street. And I ain't gonna take her ass out on the 89th and, Street. And let me tell you this, because my, because my, because my. <laughs> the food better on 89th. Yeah, that shit ain't no Fast Fred's food. Listen, hey, hey. Nigga, I was down there at Fast Fred's. Let me tell you. You down there at. I'm on 18th, you Chelsea, on 89th. Chelsea, Chelsea, listen, <laughs> Chelsea, Chelsea is where I found out. Nigga, school lunch could be amazing. That nigga tastes, that shit tastes like the, the our, our, shit? our lunch lady had a jerk curl, so you know it was up. Yeah, you, knew, was you knew it was Season up. With the arm, time. with the arm. She made Damn. that shit. I said, <laughs> nigga, I ain't never had no lunch like this. I used to take my lunch all the time after that. I said, hey, um, I'll be eating lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be eating like shit, nigga. So I'll be eating at school now, mother. Yeah, let, let's <laughs> right, <go back>. right. <laughs> That's when it came right. in the foil. They used to put that foil tray because right. it was hot. You knew that she was gonna be. I'm telling yeah, you, I ain't gonna no good believe, school. I, can't believe I didn't go to no mama, good school. Your mama forced you in the hood. Listen, that's crazy. And I tell you what, and you went back on 89th Street. And I tell you what, <laughs> what the fuck is on 89th Street? And I tell Providence. You, and I tell you what, it changed my life. Girl, ain't shit changed your life. It, you it, went it, back to the. It gave her some balance in her life, bro. She no know the hood balance. and she know the good, it, bro. That's not it the did. balance, bro. That's, you know that's the why, difference. Listen. That's why we was outside. You weren't even outside with us. Oh, we was outside. Oh, 89th Street? We was outside. Oh, 89th listen, Street? Listen, we was outside on 89th. <laughs> oh, 89th Street? We was, listen, we was outside on 89th, and we was outside on 25th. Bro, the dot I, don't even go past 89th listen, Street. Listen, I went to, I'm going to tell you, I went to, yes, 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 yes. Me yes. Upset. 
Yes, yes, 89th yes. Street. And do you know where what's good? Well, White Church is like on 82nd. I know, but I'm saying you. Do was, you know when you go to the back way and you go through? We stayed in the back of my well, Road. Why don't you stay over there by the, the dog stadium? <laughs> you talking about the Woodlands? Yeah. yeah. By the Woodlands. Hey, get the fuck, Ron. Are we yes. done? Oh, yes. we done. Ron, yes. Ron, yes. Ron, when you came. I'm Ron. trying to think what y'all talking hold about. On, hold on, Ron. When I'm you came in. I'm going to you when we leave here. When we leave Ron, here, when I'm going to exactly where we stay. When you came, when you came to, uh, to here, where did you stay? Where did you go? You went from Chicago to here. Where did you stay? No, you're trying to get too deep. We got to tell project stories now. Yeah, I got nah, to figure me said, out. No, she nah. said she went to 89th. You know, where did I first move? Where did you stay? Um, 27th was the first place. Like, I was 27th in Faro. Hood shit. Ryan yeah, in never, the hood. Ryan ain't never seen the 80s. <laughs> ain't never seen the 80s anywhere in life. And, and, and listen, and back <laughs> that then. That nigga went to 79th and lost his goddamn mind. Nigga, the 80s is bad in Chicago, <laughs> nigga. Listen, and, and <laughs> You ain't been in the 80s. The 80s is terrible. You don't want to live in the 80s. But then you got to look at it like this, too. But then you got to look at it like this, too, because even over here, even now, oh, even shit. 89th from 86 to, to 80, to state to parallel, that shit don't look the same. The neighborhood don't even look the same. Dude, but you trash. stayed on 89th. 89th is way too far. I don't even know. I kid you not. If you Growing go, up, I didn't even know no. that there was even a, other streets. Yes. Nigga, I just thought it was my street. <laughs> I stayed stayed on my little area. parallel Quindero and State. He got the show done. But you know what? <laughs> right. but I didn't know shit. It was three streets growing hey, up. Hey, but, but it was, only, but it was but only to the 40s. Like, that's all I knew was to the 40s. But let's be honest. That's it. Okay, 47th so, Street. So when you were younger, yes. let's just be honest. When you was younger, where'd you grow up at? Like, most where did 28th you move? Street. 28th 28. Street. And then, so your whole life you lived on 28th. 20, 32nd and 28th Street. That's all I lived at. That's it. I didn't know nothing else. No, really? Nah, like for Damn. real. Like my mom, my mom. When when I it wasn't until I got to middle school to where I knew there was high school where the high schools were at. I didn't know where the high schools were at. I didn't even know. I didn't know about. I knew the names. Yeah. But I didn't know where they were located at. Oh. I didn't know. Like I knew Wanda because I, I we was right by Wanda and yeah. I went to Argentina because I knew where Harmon was at. So you knew where the ones that were around. Yeah. You I were. didn't know. I didn't know where Slago or I didn't know where Washington was at. Yeah. Unless my mom had took me there. Yeah. But if you was to tell me like what streets is on, I wouldn't be able to tell you. And then you didn't get out with your homies and shit like on bikes or nah, I'm saying that was on middle school. Like oh, okay. like we just stayed around that. Day. Yeah. My oh, okay. mom wasn't gonna let me go all the way okay. out to 78th Street. Well, listen, so let me tell My you. mama let me eat. I just went. <laughs> so listen. <laughs> I just yeah. went and came back. Like, where you been? I don't know. I, I think this is different, too. I, I think this is Rolled out today, goddammit. So let me ask you this, Cortez. I, this who was, this, this who was raising Ron? <laughs> let me, let me. <laughs> hey, man, you didn't get an hour or two to slip off, nigga. In middle school. I slipped off. I in middle school, out. you didn't ever hop on a bus? Just, nah. Shit, we in middle school, we just take the bus come to Missouri. Hell Yeah. I would go to the mall with no money, a business. dollar or two. You see why? You see why kids at home now? You see? see this, wait, wait. You see this shit? Ryan is going, <laughs> Ryan is riding, riding his bike to the eighties. Man, I done seen we my motherfucker. He's from Eighty Ninth Street, riding Listen. all the way to Missouri. You need we your ass whooped for that. And you know what? The fact that you didn't know where other shit was yeah, just goes to show know. you were completely sheltered. I don't know if it was sheltered, but I was like, think about it. Like people, like even these kids now. Like if you talk to these kids, them them motherfucking kids don't know shit behind Gateway. That's just, fucked up they though. Just know, they just know they motherfucker area. kidnap them, take them two blocks. They don't know how to get back. But think about it. Got to use GPS. But, th but think about it. If the poor, right? Right. If the poor, if the, if the poor is poor, what are they riding, bro? Hmm? Where are they driving if the poor the is bus. poor? What are they driving? Bro, you better steal a bike. Bro. Nigga, I'm from Chicago. I'm gonna bro, get around. You want, you want your kid to, to drive to ride the bus, bro? Ride the bus all the way out to Missouri? You are not gonna want that. You gonna want you gonna, you gonna be like nah? I actually would. I wasn't asking. I don't know. I would. I can't wait till you have a kid. Ron. I was about to say, but you gonna be eight. Real we experiences we we are better, asking, bro. Though. Real we experiences are better. I think. It. Oh. We was like, hey, I'm going over this person's house, and Brandy be like, I'm going over this house. But you said you weren't asking. You was just saying, hey, to your parents. Like and if, I you say, if, I, if I say I'm going over someone else's house, that's all you had to say. You was sheltered. This nigga that parents are strict. Shit. Hey, that boy didn't go nowhere. That nigga, when I said you was on the porch. You hear what y'all saying. They didn't said, tell us where we could go. Y'all said in middle school, y'all just said, hey, I'm about to go over such as house. I'm about to get on the bus as no, a 13 year old. I, 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 no, I did not say that. I'm talking I about said, middle school. I said, if I tell them, if, yeah. if we tell our parents, basically, like, like parents. Not like as you do, told. No, if we tell our, if we say, hey, like, I'm going to be over this person's house. I'm going to be over there. I'm not telling them motherfuckers when we get there, nigga. We no, but I'm saying. Ride the bus <laughs> to fucking Bannister. Yeah. I'm just telling them this is where I'm going to be. Mm hmm. Lying. Cortez don't sound like I'm he was good at it. He probably got caught every time he tried to lie. You know nah. what? You know 
what nah, video? Because I just told you. Because I just told you. I never like putting myself in positions where I can feel I like you it, some trouble is gonna happen. Do you? Do That's why you gotta be smart about it. Can I ask Ryan, you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> can I lie like a motherfucker? I gotta, I gotta Down ask. The hood. I gotta ask. Can I get caught at a place to fucking tell him myself? Listen, I get it because maybe I knew more about different places too because I used to also stay. With my grandmother. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, I used to, if my mom worked two jobs or whatever, we was always in my grandmother's house. We were, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we had, like. Where your grandma stayed? The reason why, hold up. The reason why I can say, like, when you say, do you know this? Because, you you know, you older than me. But mm-hmm. when you say, do you know remember this show? Or do you know this show? Or do mm-hmm. you remember this rap? Or do you remember this group? And I can say, yeah, because my aunt and my cousins were there. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm raised around, I'm raised around them. So I'm see, watching movies and listening to shit. Sibo and shit like that. I'm listening to things, mm-hmm. even though I'm younger, like Washington. They went to Washington, right? So I knew where Washington was because when they go to games, even though I'm younger, I'm going to games with them. Like, I know who Slego because they play against Slego. Mm-hmm. I know where this shit. So even when they get to do stuff, like, because my mom's, my, my, my mom's, uh, like, my auntie was in her 40s. So she's like 10 years older than me, right? Mm-hmm. So when they go places or whatever, she'd be like, come on, you can ride with me. Mm-hmm. Like I do with my cousins, mm-hmm. my nieces, nephews, shit like that. I used to be like, come ride with me. Like mm-hmm. you go to the game, you go to the game. You just here, you come with me. Yeah. So it's different when you have exposure to certain things, even from cousins. Yeah. And th- and that's what I mean by having co- like cousins. Cause I don't mean like, hey cousin, I see you like on holidays. I mean like my cousin, like is gonna come swoop me up and come ride with me or come hang with me or come, you know, we cousins like that. Mm-hmm. That is the difference from being like, that's the difference. When when the household is raised together, because even jokes, jokes come in with that. Jokes like just the little, oh, shit, this is funny. Or maybe this ain't funny. Or maybe this isn't. You learn, you pick up different things from different places and different people and different experiences. And those are the, the things, like even just going somewhere. Like shit you ain't supposed to do. Yeah, you ain't supposed to do it. Like you said, you can get in a situation like having kids early or making bad choices and doing shit that, that's just fucked up, right? And that's the bad thing about the freedom or the sneakiness of growing up. But the good thing about that shit is because it, it does. It teaches you certain things. So certain things that another motherfucker may not be open to, whether you grew up in the hood. You can be, you can live in the hood, mm-hmm. but not have hood experiences. Like, people can't just be like, just because you lived in a bad block. Like, you don't necessarily, it means that you ducked your bullets in the house. Yeah. But it doesn't mean, like, you're street smart. It doesn't mean, like, you had those fucking experiences that'll teach you, like, Shit, this is this is what you should do, or this is what you shouldn't do, because street smarts count. That shit fucking counts. Hell yeah. Survival shit counts. If if something happens to this world, which now we all know, it is fucking possible. Mm-hmm. It is possible <clears throat> to fucking happen. Because no one can tell me before 2020 that you would have ever thought some shit like this would fucking happen to us. And it fucking did. We got too much technology and too many doctors and too many of this for this shit to happen. And the shit fucking happened. So well, anything is possible. I just believe it is very, very important. I wish I knew more about just survival period, shit, period. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like I know a good, a good enough amount. Mm-hmm. But motherfuckers need to know, especially our kids. Kids need to know how to how to how to how to survive or exactly. how to get some shit done. And that and this it's important because anything can fucking ha- anything can happen. That's one of so the that's things. All I'm that's it. One all of right. the things talking about what we just talked about the street smarts. You don't get the street smarts from them goddamn laptops and them goddamn phones and shit. That's why a lot of kids get caught somewhere looking at them phones and they get beat up. You know what I mean? <laughs> because they not street smart. Like, and, and you know, it's good phone. and bad. You know what I mean? You don't want no ghetto-ass kids, yeah, you but you no definitely want to have a little bit of fear in them. God damn it. Sneaking away and seeing some of the shit that I saw actually helped because I used to see some fucked up shit that I wasn't supposed to see. And then if you tell somebody, we well, didn't have no business fucking being there anyway, get ass whipping all kind of shit. So, man, hey, look, the streets will raise your ass or them fucking computers will, but you just want put as much knowledge in your <laughs> kid. Yeah, balance that shit. You got to because, like, I think technology is, is raising kids these days. You know what I mean? They live in the house with parents, but who they listen to more? The technology. Back then, we only had to listen to each other and go out and just have fun and just experience that way. I guess it's just different. I'm old. And, Y'all and, young. And don't think that we, don't think that, seriously, don't think that we dissing new school. I'm not. I'm Like I said, I'm in the middle. I'm actually glad that I got the best of both worlds with technology and some shit without it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I'm not dissing it. But I am saying it is important, whether then or now, Mm -hmm. it is important to have some balance. It is important to have some fucking life 
balance. It is important to have, because like you said, at some point in time, motherfuckers are going to crack on you. Motherfuckers are going to crack on you. And can't nobody really, listen, first of all, I, I was a dark skinned female growing up in the era that we did. Okay. It, it wasn't fucking technology that taught me to motherfucking like crack back at people or fight motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. It was, it was motherfuckers that was fucking picking on me and me having the mental to say, I need to come up with something a little bit fucking different. Like either I need to snap back at motherfuckers and be good at it and be great at it. Or I'm going to fucking go in the corner and crawl and, and cry. Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm like, I'm not fucking about to do that. So I'm going to work with what the fuck I got. Like I'm a, this survival for me, I'm going to work with what the fuck <laughs> I got. Either you're going to be cool with me or I'm going to make you mad. We're going to do whichever one, but it's, it's going to happen. Like you can't, you know who taught me that? Chelsea Elementary. Thank you. Shout out to Wanda County, <laughs> Chelsea Elementary. Because if it was still in white church, you know what I would have did? I would have went in that motherfucking corner and cried. I would have went in that motherfucking corner. It sound and like you'd have been a punk at white I church. I would have. I would have. What kind of name is white church for a school? All right, no dissing, man. We're going to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to, um, no, nah, follow us on <laughs> Facebook. Follow us on Spotify. Make sure y'all click those YouTube links and Hi, run those dude. numbers up. Comment. I see a lot of y'all comment every once in a while. Let us know how y'all liking the content. And uh, we got more coming for y'all. Thank you. See y'all later.